setting up the cache is very easy in Dipit effects and I just show you now the workflow how to do that so first of all you of course need a simulation uh, I have a gas simulation here a fire simulation I can render this so I can see what we're talking about here just a simple fire pillar um, coming out of a tube here and being rendered with GI um, and um, I would like to cache that once I re simulate it um, well so first of all we go into the solver object it doesn't matter if it is the uh, gas solver like this gas solver or it, if, it, if it is the liquid solver it works just the same for all the solvers in Dippet effects so in the solver we go into the caching tab because that's what we need and the first thing is we of course need a location where the caches or the cache files uh, are saved to so I click on select cache folder and opens up this usual uh, OS dependent dialog and I have already created a folder here on um, tutorial caching that's what I choose I click on OK and we got the path to the folder set here now and I could optionally set a file name here so let's say uh, first and this is good if you want uh, to cache uh, different uh, data for example I could now s only cache the fire here uh, into cache files called first and then I could uh, re-simulate the whole thing and only cache for example the vorticity particles that I'm using here but that are not shown um, and I could just set a new name and it would all be in the same folder without any complications uh, of the names okay so let's keep it like that and um, well we have to set the cache mode now which is we set it to save because we of course want to save our cache files <clears throat> so I set save and we get some new options here especially uh, useful for saving the cache files and we have the save to here um, which says disk during rendering which simply means that the cache files are only written to your hard disk when you are rendering so when we start our rendering in the picture viewer I could also set it to disk it would then uh, directly cache the files uh, while I am animating it here inside of Cinema 4 d viewport or inside the editor um, so as it plays along it would save the according uh, cache files to disk directly in the editor if it is set to disk otherwise only in the picture viewer during rendering and I keep it uh, during rendering just for now and um, that's actually it I could directly start rendering and it would cache the appropriate or the according files for each frame on your hard disk as it uh, simulates along um, what is of course especially in the gas solver useful is setting the compressed uh, version for the cache files so the uh, cache files will become smaller and really get a lot smaller when we're uh, dealing with the gas solver because the grids can be efficiently compressed um, yeah so I can set this now I just got a short message which I will not look at now um, and we can also define here now which of the channels that we use in our simulation so the media channels for example smoke temperature etc and I can simply tick it on or off which I want to have included in the cache files so uh, this time I would like to have as I have a fire rendering and I only render the fire because I don't have any smoke here I want like a I don't know haptane or something like that um, so I turn off smoke I don't need it I could include it of course but I want my files to be as small as possible so I only take the fluid so the velocity field because um, 
I might rerun the simulation later on or re-simulate, but that's another topic. But I keep the fluid. I don't need it for rendering, really. Uh, but I have some render advaction, so I keep it. I also keep the heat, of course, and the fire itself. Um, well, that's it. So I can simply choose what I would like to have included. And now I could simply render to the picture viewer my simulation. It would simulate along and uh, it would simulate and cache the uh, files along the simulation.